the smooth muscles are now going to become they are going to create a cap on top of this. Now, as the smooth muscles become active, they release collagen. So, there will be lots of collagen as well. They would release peptidoglycans, there will be lots of extracellular matrix developed. So, now over here, what is happening is. And, and one more point please remember macrophage picks up the LDL oxidized LDL through scavenger receptors not through the normal LDL receptors. Anyways, that is an important point to keep in mind because the patients who have the deficiency of LDL receptors they still have the LDL picked up by the macrophage and that is because of the scavenger receptors. Okay, back here. Now, this etheroma has a particular structure. It has a fibrous cap if we look at the etheroma normally it looks like this it has a fibrous cap that fibrous cap has smooth muscles and collagen as part of it. This is collagen. This is normally stable and strong. It, this is the maturity of the plaque. The sides, the shoulder of the plaque has active cells. So, monocytes are sitting there, T cells are sitting there, macrophages are sitting there on the shoulders on the side of this this thing and they are still causing more and more activity. So, the plaque is actually expanding. Then there is neo vascular vascular genesis. So, there is new blood vessels small tiny blood vessels forming why there is tumor growth factor alpha tumor growth factor alpha causes angiogenesis. So, there is going to be increased blood vessels forming what is happening underneath what is happening down here in the media look what do we got here we had foam cells, these are macrophages that had LDLs in them. Some of them are going to merge and make big blobs of foam, but some of them are going to die. And when they are going to die, what is going to come out of them? Cholesterol crystals, digested cholesterol. So, cholesterol crystals come out and they are present here. Now, what else? When the cells do die, what do we get? We get necrosis, we get debris over there, we get junk over there. So, that debris is present in the center of this etheroma somewhere over here and that debris would invite what? Calcium. So, calcium can be coming over as well and part of the center of the etheroma may be calcified. There may be calcification here. So, that is the etheroma that has developed in a vessel wall. Now, if we leave this etheroma like this with collagen in it, peptidoglycans in it, the cells in it, it is fine, it is stable, some lumen narrowing is present. However, the problem is as I said before, the newcomer cells, inflammatory cell are going to try to start taking bites out of various things and they will make it unstable. When this becomes unstable, what would happen is it can rupture. When it ruptures, there are going to be pieces coming out of it and those pieces would now one create a plaque over there, fibrinogen would come in, plasminogen activity would start. So, there is a plaque formation there, there is a thrombus formation there, there is a possibility of emboli over there. Who did this? What caused it? The new inflammatory process. So, please remember atherosclerosis is not just a static process that is that happened and the boil formed or pimple formed and stopped. No, it is a continuous process, it is a progressive process. Ultimately, it reaches a point where it can hurt. So, now what are the types of atheromas? There are three types of atheromas depending upon what is their composition. The types of atheromas are, there are 70 percent ish atheromas that are calcium uh, sorry that are fibrous meaning their top and majority of their extracellular material is fibrous collagen fibrin smooth muscles about 20 percent are lipid that is there are so many cells that have died and no calcium came in that this is all just lipid you know crystals present 
and then about 10% are calcified. Their centers are calcified. That is their breakup in terms of their structure. So this is the atherosclerosis. 